everybody. Welcome to the session of Power Yoga with me, Selena and Shweta. Through this week, we have been celebrating women and women in fitness. And in today's session, we will talk about something that affects all the women out there. Absolutely. In today's session, we will talk about PCOS, PCOD and how it affects us. Before that, let's begin the session. And let's not forget that even though this week has been a celebration of women, this session is for everyone. Keeping that in our minds, let's begin with centering. Being seated either in Sukhasan or Ardha Padmasana, you can place one foot close to your thigh. Keep your spine straight, roll your shoulders back, chin mudra in both your palms, rest them on your thighs. Keep your eyes closed, facial muscles relaxed, shoulders relaxed. Taking your awareness to your body. Just feel your body. Awareness to your breath. Feel your breath moving in and out of your nostrils. Taking slow and deep breaths. Letting go of your breath, connect to your eyebrow center. Keeping your focus at your eyebrow center, bring your palms together in namaskara, your thumb at your heart center. Let us chant three omkaras, inhale, Oh. Inhale. Oh. Inhale. Oh. Bring your chin to your chest, open your palms, blink open your eyes. Release your arms. Let's begin with warm up. First, we will be doing Marjari Asana, coming on all fours. Keep your knees and your feet hip width apart, wrist directly under your shoulders. Five rounds, fingers widely spread. Keep your toes tucked in or pointed back. Let's begin. Inhale to lower your spine. Lift your chest. Look up. Exhale to round your back. Chin to your chest. Pull your navel towards your spine. Inhale. Lower your spine. Exhale. Round your back. Keep your arms straight. Inhale, lift your chest up. Exhale, chin to your chest. Two more. Inhale, lower your spine. Exhale, round your back. One last round. Inhale, lift your chest up. Exhale, chin to your chest. Inhale to neutral spine. We move on to the second warm-up. From here, lift your hips up, coming to Parvatasana. You can do this along with us. Only if you don't understand, you can drop your knees down and then watch us. Let's begin. Inhale, lift your right leg up to the ceiling. Exhale, right foot 
outside your right palm. Keep your left leg straight. Inhale to stretch your right arm up. Exhale, right palm down. Go back to Parvatasana. Doing this on the left. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, left foot outside your left palm. Keep your right leg straight. Inhale to stretch your left arm up. Exhale down. Go back to Parvatasana. Four more rounds. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, right foot outside. Inhale to twist in lizard. Exhale to go back in mountain. Inhale. Left leg up, sink with your breath. Exhale, left foot outside your palm. Inhale to twist, look up. Exhale, Parvatasana. Three more rounds, keep flowing. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, out. Inhale, twist. Exhale, mountain. Inhale, left leg lifted up. Exhale, outside your palm. Inhale to twist. Exhale, down. Inhale, right leg up, warming up your entire body. Exhale. Inhale to twist. Exhale. On your left. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale. Inhale, twist. Exhale, last round. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, sink your hips. Inhale, twist. Exhale, left side. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, outside. Inhale to twist. Exhale, go back. Drop your knees down to Vajrasana. Moving on to the next warm-up, Salina will take over. Thank you, Shweta. All right, so we'll start with Parvatasana, the same. We'll practice along, okay? You will take the right leg up to the ceiling. And with the fingertips, you will walk the fingertips towards the left foot. All right, from here, release that right foot down. Bend the knee slightly. Release the palms on the hips, slowly come up. Either you can place the palms behind or interlace the fingers behind and then push the hips forward, lift the chest up, arch back. Exhale, bend forward and down and walk the palms towards the top of the mat to meet in Parvatasana. That was on one side. Repeating it on the left side, take the left leg up higher and then walk the palms, fingers towards the right foot. Releasing the left foot down, release the palms on the hips. And then push the hips forward or interlace the fingers. Lifting the chest up and chin down to the chest or diagonally up. Exhale. That is one round. Walk the palms forward. Taking the right leg up. And then walk the palms towards the left. L right foot down on the mat. Bend the knee slightly. Slowly come up. Push the hips forward. Inhale here. Exhale. Bend forward and down. Walk the palms towards you and take the left leg up left and then taking the fingers walk the fingers towards you release the left foot down palms on the hips and then push the hips forward and then release we'll do this for two more rounds walk the palms forward taking the right leg up higher walk the fingers towards you right foot down release the palms on the hips inhale and arch back Exhale, bend forward and down. Walk the palms towards the top. Take the left leg up. Fingers walking towards the right foot. Release the left foot down. Palms on the hips. And then you arch back. Last round. Release. Exhale, bend forward. Walk the palms towards the top. Taking the right leg up. And then balance it and walk the fingers towards the left. Release the right foot down. Inhale. Lift up, arch, exhale, last time on the left side, walk the palms towards the top, taking the left leg up and then walk the fingers towards the right foot, release the left foot down, palms on the hips, 
inhale and out exhale straighten all right you can come to the top of the mat keeping the feet hip width wider squat down in malasana your knees and the toes are pointing in the same direction with the triceps you're pushing the knees out you will take that right palm i think we can turn to the camera so yes. it's easy for them to see you will take the right palm out right triceps you are moving the right thigh out and then lateral bend to the right side taking the left arm over and above the ears left upper arm very close to the ears and then inhale center both the hands up exhale lateral bend to the left side now walk the left fingertips little away but press that right foot down inhale center exhale inhale center exhale to the left side inhale center exhale to the right inhale center exhale to the left two more rounds inhale extend exhale send inhale here exhale to the left side inhale exhale inhale extend exhale to the left last round inhale exhale to the right inhale exhale to the left inhale center release the palms down now let's do a twist for four rounds all right taking the right palm outside the foot and inhale extend the left hand up exhale twist and moving the left fingertips back inhale extend both the hands up exhale left palm goes outside the left foot and take the right hand back inhale extend three more rounds only exhale to the left inhale extend exhale inhale last round twisting inhale extend long breath exhale to the right side inhale don't worry we will not hold <laughs> exhale release the palm down so either take the hands back you can sit in cross leg relax or extend the legs forward and shake the legs the warm up is done i'm sure you're feeling warmed up so aren't you shweta yes i am <laughs> so before we start the sequence i just want you to give you what we are going to do in today's sequence we will be doing around 10 sequences selina roughly so we will be doing it back to back so all you need to do is to follow our instructions and then before that since our topic for today's women's day special is about pcod or pcos we know given our current lifestyle we are all familiar with this term aren't you selina i agree i agree pcos is a hormonal condition that affects women during their childbearing years so when you have pcos your reproductive hormones are out of balance and this leads to the problems with your ovaries yeah and uh, several indicators that point towards pcos are irregular periods sudden weight gain and you can see sudden hair growth on especially in your facial region like your chin chest and so on the exact cause of pcos is not known but it does affect a lot of women a session like this which focuses on your core region is definitely a step in the right direction towards a healthy lifestyle so all we tell you to practice regularly stay fit and we can rule out pcos or pcod <laughs> so now let's begin with the asana sequence so listen to your body throughout the session whenever you want to take a break you can definitely take a break and most of the movements are dynamic and certain movements we hold the posture so let's begin coming to a standing posture we begin with skandhasana dynamic and then we hold prasarita padottanasana d variation palms on your hip take your feet wider than your shoulders we have two options you either stretch both your arms up or arms in front of you see what works better 
Inhale here. Exhale, bend your right knee. Point your left toes up. Lift your chest. Stay here. Inhale, come up. Stretch your arms either up or in front of you. Exhale to your left. Right toes pointing up. Four more rounds. Inhale. Exhale, right. Inhale. Exhale, left. Sink those hips. Inhale, up. Exhale, right. Inhale. Exhale, left. Don't lean forward. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. One last round. Inhale. Exhale, right. Inhale, exhale, left. Inhale, come up. Exhale to release. Shorten the stance slightly. We're moving to Prasarita Padottanasana. Turn your toes slightly inward. Heels pointing outward. Inhale, stretch both your arms up. Pull your navel towards your spine and tuck your tailbone. Exhale. Pushing your hips back, come halfway. Once you're here, shift your body weight towards the middle of your feet. Exhale, grab hold of your big toe with your index, middle and thumb. Inhale, chest lifted. Exhale, elbows going to the sides of the room, trying to bring the crown of your head closer to the mat. We stay here for five breaths slow breathing one with every exhale see if you can go down a little more two keeping your knees soft three four five complete your exhalation inhale to straighten your arms lift your chest Place your palms on your hip. Inhale to come up and take a gentle back bend. Exhale to release. Heel toe your feet together. Relax your arms. We move on to the second sequence. Yes, Selena. So we'll start the second sequence with the mountain posture. Go back. Palms down. Take the legs back. Fingers are firmly pressed. Like we did in the warm-up, you will take the right leg all the way up. So swing the right leg up, bend the right knee, bring the foot closer and step the foot between the palms. You can either choose to drop the back knee down or back knee off the mat. Release the palms, bring the palms together at the heart center, inhale, exhale, twist, left triceps outside the right knee. Release the palm down and then take the right leg all the way up. Release the foot down. That's going to be the movement. Repeating it on the left side. Take the left leg up and swing. Bend the left knee. Step the left foot between the palms. Either choose to keep the back knee down. Palms at the heart center. Inhale. Exhale. Twist to the left side. Release the palms down and take the left leg back. Okay? Release the foot down. Four more rounds. Right leg up. Exhale. Step the foot between. Inhale. Palms at the heart center. Exhale. Center, release the palm down. Take the right leg all the way up. Step the foot down. Left leg up. Exhale, step the foot between. Inhale. Exhale, twist to the left side. Palms down and take the left leg all the way up. Release the leg down. Three more rounds to go. Right leg up. Bend the right knee. Step the foot. Inhale here. Exhale, twist. Release the palms down, take the right leg all the way up, foot down, left leg up, step the foot between, inhale, palms at the heart center, exhale, twist, release the palms down and take the left leg back and down. Two more rounds, right leg up, bend, foot forward, palms at the heart center, inhale, exhale, twist, release the palms down, take the right leg all the way up. Right foot down, left leg up, step the foot between, palms at the heart center, inhale, exhale, twist, 
Release the palms down. Last round, let's hold the posture. Right leg all the way up. Bend the right knee. Step the foot between. Inhale, exhale, twist. And you will hold the posture for five breaths. One. Right palm firmly presses into the left. And move the namaskara to the heart center. Two. Engaging your left leg, that is your back leg. Three. If you're comfortable, turn the head, look up at the ceiling. Four. If the neck is hurting, look at the screen. And five. Getting ready to release. Release the palms down. Take the right leg all the way up. Drop the foot down. Left leg up to the ceiling. Exhale, step the foot between. Inhale, palms at the heart center. Exhale to the left side. One. Giving your energy to your right leg, that's your back leg. Engage that thigh. Two. Checking where is the namaskara at the heart center. Three. Longer breath. Abdominal breathing going on. Four. You should feel that on the left glutes. And five. Release the palms down, taking the left leg all the way up. Left foot down and slowly drop the knees down to catch a breather. Over to Not a long break. <laughs> Let's move. We go into dolphin pose or katu Asana. Lift your hips up. Keep your feet hip width apart. From here, you drop your forearms down. You either place your palms flat on the mat or you interlock your fingers. Walk your feet forward. Your heels will lift up, which is absolutely fine. Make sure you keep pressing your forearms firmly on the mat. We do dynamic. Inhale. Take your chin. Cross your fingers. Exhale. Lift your hips up. Four more. Inhale. Lean. Exhale. Up. Inhale. Forward. Engage your core. Exhale. Press those forearms. Inhale. Exhale. One last round and we hold. Inhale. Stay there. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Exhale. Hold. Your crown of the head is not touching the mat here. Walk your feet forward as much as your body allows. And stay there. One. Two. Three, four, five. Walk your feet back. Drop your knees down. Sit back in Vajrasana. Moving on to the next posture. It will be a balancing posture where we hold the posture. Let's do it. Come to the top of the mat. It's a balancing posture. So keeping the feet um, hip width wider and shifting the weight to the left. Release the palms on the hips. Press firmly into the left foot and bend the right knee. Hug the knee closer to the chest first. Bring the knee closer to the chest. Left palm releases on the left hip. With the three finger grip, catch hold of the right big toe. Choose to stay here, okay? If you're comfortable, you will extend the leg all the way forward. We are not holding this posture. From here, you will move the leg to the right side as much as you can. If this is challenging, either you can keep the knee bent or you can go next to a wall and place the palm on the wall, okay? Look at one single point and then I'm not going to talk because I will lose balance. And you will stay there. One. Spine is straight. Two. Longer breath. Three. Looking at one single point. Four. Relax the facial muscles. And five. Getting ready. Bend the knee. And our favorite good old tree posture. You will place the foot to the inner edge. And release the palms at the heart center. Find the balance here. If you're good enough, you will extend the hands up. And remember, everybody falls. Including you and me. So you will stay here. Two. Longer breath. Three. Right foot firmly presses into the left inner thigh and press the inner thigh back to the foot. Four. If you lose balance, come back. Like Absolutely. just like I did now. <laughs> and five. 
slowly release the palms down and bend the knee, hug the knee closer to the chest and release the foot down. As you place the foot down, check how nice it is to stand on both the feet, right? Repeating it on the other side. You will shift the weight to the right foot and then release the left, hug the left knee closer to the chest. Right palm releases on the hip with three finger grip, catching hold of the left big toe. You will extend that left leg forward. Inhale, exhale, moving to the left side. Posture begins. One, longer breath. Two, you can slightly bend the right knee for little balance. Three, you fall, you come back. Four, I'm about to fall. And five, bend the left foot, place it onto the right inner thigh. And then palms at the heart center and breathe. One. Balance is always better on one side. Absolutely. Two. So you would check which side is balanced for you right now. Three. Just for your reference. Four. And five. Getting ready to release. Release the knee. Hug the knee closer to the chest. And then slowly release the leg down. I'm happy I'm on two feet. <laughs> And we just lose balance when somebody's talking or when we are talking by ourselves, right? Yeah. So next, let's move on to Parshva Konasana and Reverse Warrior. We will be doing this from Downward Facing Dog. Keep your feet hip width apart. Inhale, lift your right leg up to the ceiling. Exhale, right foot in between your palms. Place your left heel on the mat. Inhale to stretch both your arms up towards the ceiling. Make sure your right thigh is parallel to the floor. Knee and ankle is in one line. We do this dynamic. First, lean towards your right, palms facing each other. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, reverse the warrior. Lean towards your left. We move on the same side. Inhale, center. Exhale, Parshva Konasana. Inhale, center. Exhale, reverse the warrior. Inhale, don't come up. Exhale, keep sinking your hips. Inhale, center. Exhale, reverse. Two more. Inhale. Exhale, Parshva Konasana. Inhale. Exhale, go deeper. One last round. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, center. Exhale. Inhale, center. Palms down. Go back to downward facing dog. I'm feeling it on my thighs. Selena, are you? Absolutely. I can feel it talking. <laughs> exactly. Let's move. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, left foot in between your palms. Right heel grounded. Inhale to stretch both your arms up to the ceiling. Just make sure you press the outer edge of your right foot firmly on the mat and keep sinking your left thigh. Inhale. Exhale, lean towards the left. Parshva Konasana. Inhale, center. Exhale, reverse the warrior, palms facing each other. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Three more. Inhale, exhale, lengthening and stretching the side body. Inhale, exhale to reverse. Just two more. Inhale, stay with us. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, one last, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, almost there, inhale, center, exhale, palms down, downward facing dog, just pedal your feet in down dog to bring back the circulation and relaxing your muscles. From there, drop your knees down, sit back in Vajrasana. That was quite uh, some warm-up for the core. Sure. <laughs> so talking about the warm-up, again, uh, a warm-up for the core. So we'll practice along, get back to Parvatasana. 
Feet together, taking the right leg up to the ceiling. Bend the knee, move to plank, knee closer to the right elbow. I'm sure this workout, you guys have been doing it. Inhale, extend the right leg up. Exhale, right knee close to the elbow. Inhale, move it up. Exhale, check if you can bring the knee close to the upper arm. Inhale, move it up. Exhale, knee closer to the upper arm. Inhale, move it up. Exhale, knee close to the upper arm. Let's hold it here. One. Engage the right toe. Right toe pointing back. Two. Lift the head. Neck in one line. Three. Palms press. Lift the chest up. Four. If it's challenging, drop the left knee down. And five. Inhale. Extend. Right leg up. Exhale. Release. Right foot down. Thank God we have only two legs. <laughs> On the other side. Left leg up. Bend the left knee. Move to plank. Knee close to the elbow. Inhale, take the left leg up. Exhale, knee close to the elbow. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, knee close to the elbow. Last round, get ready to hold. Left leg up. Exhale, knee close to the elbow. And you will stay there. One. Check if you can bring the knee a little more above the elbow. Two. Body is shivering. Hours two. Three. Stay strong. Four. One last breath. And five. Inhale, take the leg back. Exhale, release the foot down. Drop the knees down. Sit back. Catching your breath. Since we did a lot of core, we need to utilize that core, right? Sure. So let's do our famous crow, Khakasan. For that, downward facing dog, come into Malasana. At the center of the mat, probably. All right, you will release the palms in front. And then lean forward. Bringing the inner knee to the outer arm and lean forward, looking ahead. And then check if you can lift one toe up, bend the elbow slightly. You will stay here. If you can, you will lift the other toes also. One, longer breath. Two, yet again a balancing posture. Three, fingers pressed firmly. Four, shifting the weight to the fingertips. And five, foot down and squat down. <laughs> Over to you, Shweta. Really, we have more, Selena? <laughs> okay. So from here, drop your knees down. Take your knees mat width apart. Make sure your knee and your hip remains in one line. Throughout this practice, we do the puppy pose. From here, stretch your arms forward. Keep bringing your chest closer, but don't drop it down since we are doing threading the needle here. Bring your left palm towards the center. Inhale to stretch the right arm up. Exhale, take your right arm underneath, dropping the right shoulder and the right side of the head. We do this four more times on the same side. Inhale, working on your shoulders. Exhale threading the needle. Make sure your knee and your hip is in one line. Inhale to stretch. Exhale. Keep your left arm straight. Inhale. Exhale. One last round. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Lift your right arm up. Place it on the mat. Just check your alignment and realign yourself. Bringing your chest closer to the floor. Bring your right arm center. Inhale, stretch your left arm up. Exhale, left shoulder down, left side of the head down. Inhale to stretch. Exhale. Three more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, one last, inhale, exhale, inhale, drop the palm down and let's get into the puppy pose from here, stretch your arms, bringing your chest closer, you either place your chin or your forehead and stay here, one, close your eyes, Two, three, four, five.
five. Blink open your eyes, lift your chest, slide your palms back, bring your knees closer and sit back in Vajrasana. Puppy posture felt so nice. Another one for the core because you felt nice. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> All right. So we are nearing the end of the session. Okay. So don't worry. All right. Bend the knees, hold the back of the knee and come on to your tippy toes. I'm sure you know where are we going from here. From here, taking the right leg, just the right leg off. Very easy posture. And then the left leg off. Inner thighs drawn towards each other and thighs close to the chest. You can either extend the hands or you will place the fingertips down. You will stay here. Inhale, you will go down to lower boat. Lower back pressing down, lift the chest up. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, go back. Exhale, crunch. Very nice. Extend the hands if you want to challenge. Inhale, exhale, crunch. Inhale, extend. Exhale and crunch. Three more rounds. Inhale, go back. Exhale, crunch. Last two. Inhale, exhale, crunch. Last round. Inhale, exhale, crunch. You will what stay here. What about another five rounds? There you go. Yes, yes. Shweta is asking for five. five Let's do just that. Five. Inhale, exhale, crunch. Four. Inhale, exhale, crunch. Three. Inhale, exhale, crunch. Two. Inhale. Exhale, crunch. One. Inhale. Let's hold. And hold it here. Yes. One. My body is shivering. Two. Longer breath. Lift the chest up. Three. Come back. Come back. Four. One last. And five. Crunch. <sighs> one. Just one more? N no. That no? is it. Two. Oh, okay. <laughs> Three. Longer breath. Thighs closer. Four. And five. Go down. Knees bent, relax the back. Let's hold the posture by extending the leg all the way up. Supta Dandasan. If you feel that the leg is shivering, if you're not able to place the lower back down, feel free to keep the knees bent. We are here in this posture for five breaths. One. You can relax the palms on the abdomen, checking how the abdomen is working. Two. Pressing the lower back down to the mat, okay? Three, we tend to lift that up. So press that down, bring the heel and the hips in one line. Four, one last. And five, slowly release, bend the knees, swing, and then stand up. Sit up. Sit up. Moving on to the next posture, Paschimottanasana and Bhunamanasana. Keep your feet slightly wider it's not even as wide as the hips or shoulders just separate it little more keep your toes flexed inhale to stretch both your arms up exhale to bend from your hips lean forward hold on to wherever you reach you need not go to the full version inhale to stretch your arms up exhale twist to your right diagonally place your fingertips or your palms and bring your forehead closer to the Floor. Your left buttock will lift up. Keep bending your elbows. Inhale to stretch your arms up. Exhale, Paschimottanasana. Keep your knees soft. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, twist to your left side. Greetings to the earth. Inhale, center, arms up. Exhale to lean forward. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, diagonal twist to the right side. Feel the twist in your spine. Inhale, stretch. Exhale to fold. Inhale, exhale, left. We just do one more here. Inhale, center. Exhale to fold. Inhale, Exhale, right and hold it here for five, four, keep your toes flexed, three, two, one. Inhale to stretch your arms up, exhale to lean forward, inhale arms up, exhale to your left. Five, four, three, 
two, one. Inhale to stretch your arms up. Exhale to release and lie down on your back. Bend your knees. We do a variation in Setu Bandhasana or the bridge pose. You place your palms beside your hip, keeping your feet and your knees hip width apart. Place your right ankle on top of your left knee like figure four. Our knee tends to come forward. Conscious effort to take the knees away from you. Use the muscular strength of your thighs. Palms down, dynamic. Inhale to lift your hips up. Tighten your glutes. Exhale down. Inhale, lift it a little more higher. Exhale, keep engaging your muscles. Inhale up. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. One last round. Inhale. Exhale down, release your leg, change left ankle over the right knee, right knee away from you, palms pressed, press the right foot, inhale to lift your hips up, exhale, inhale, exhale, three more, inhale, tighten your glutes, exhale, Inhale, exhale, one last, inhale up, exhale down, release from here, let's get into Setu Bandhasana, the regular one, inhale to lift your hips up, interlock your fingers, roll your shoulders in, keep your arms straight, press your fist, lift your hips up, chest coming closer to your chin. Five, keep your glutes engaged, four, three, two, one. Slowly release your arms, drop your hips down. All right, from here, let's cool down. Extend the legs forward. You will bend the right knee and step the right foot outside the left knee. Extend that right hand in line with the shoulders, palm facing up. With the left palm, you will hold the outer right knee and you will bring the knee to the left side. Not necessary, the knee has to drop, but keep rooting that right shoulder down. You can turn that left toe to the left side. Turn the head, look at the right thumb finger and breathe. One, abdominal breathing going on, two, three, we are stretching the right side of the abdominal organs, four, one last, and five, inhale, center, release the foot, and extend the foot forward, on the other side, bend the left knee, Place the left foot outside the right. Extend that left hand in line with the shoulders. With the right hand, hold the outer knee and you will draw the left knee down. Not necessary, it has to touch. Turn that right toe to the right side and turn the head. Look at the left thumb finger and breathe. One. Keep rooting that left shoulder down. Two. If you're comfortable, keep the eyes closed. Three. This is an excellent posture to cure back pain. Four. Slow down. And five. Inhale, center. Release the foot. Bend both the knees. Hug the knees closer to the chest. One breath. Exhale, release the foot down. Either you can extend the legs forward and lie down in classic Shavasana or you can bend the knees and lie down in Supta Baddha Konasana. After some time, the inner thigh would start to talk. If that is you, you can extend that leg forward, relax in classic Shavasana. You can place the palms on top of the thighs or you can bend the elbows, palms facing up. Choose which posture works for you or what does the body crave at this point and you will relax. 
letting go of anything which is holding on to you tight, taking off the glasses, spectacles, wristwatch. Checking by any chance, are we holding tension at any point, especially the glutes. So you can lift the hips up, take the skin of the glutes down, relax the skin from under the shoulder. All the more, relax your facial muscles. Checking any tightness in the jaw. So relax the jaw. The body is still. But there are spontaneous movements in the body. Mainly by the breath. So right now, you will check where do you feel that movement the most? Checking is the movement at the abdomen or the movement at the chest or do you feel the breath at the upper lip or just at the nostril? Conscious five breaths. As you inhale, the abdomen expands. As you exhale, the abdomen goes down. Now you'll start to count. Counting one to five. Abdomen rises. Abdomen goes down. You will count one. The next cycle, you will count two. and go on. Keeping that as your last breath count. Awareness to the space that you are practicing, the time of the day. Using these sensations to slowly make the first set of movements. Moving the fingertips first. Those who have the legs in still butterfly, you will release the palms. Like we close the book, you will hold the outer thigh and slowly bring the legs together. You will feel that stickiness in the inner hip and the outer glutes, quite normal. Now extend the leg forward. Extend the hands over and above the head, interlace the fingers. Give a nice morning stretch. Lengthen the entire body. If you feel like yawning, making some sound, go ahead, do that. From here, bend the knees and roll over to your right side. Relax the head on the right upper arm. Stay here. Curl up, make yourself small. With the support of the left palm, slowly and gently sit up. Palms relaxed on the thighs. Setting an intention that to show up on the mat at least for a half an hour every day. Set that as the intention for the remaining of the year. We are just at the second month of 2022. So today is a good day to start the practice. Keeping that intention strong, we close the class by chanting. Loka Samastha Sukhino Bhavantu Om Shanti 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 Wholeheartedly for the world peace. Release the palm. Bring the palms together at the heart center. Inhale. Take a long breath. Loka Samastha Sukhino Bhavantu Om Shanti 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 Release the palms, rub your palms nicely, generate warmth and place that warmth on the eyes. Release the palms in front of you, 
few blinks, open the eyes, look at the line, color, texture, feel grateful for this vision that we have. And then bow down to the earth. And that, my dear members, <laughs> brings us to the end of this session. Remember, if you are suffering from PCOS or you know someone in your family who is suffering from PCOS or PCOD, make sure you consult a doctor and take the necessary steps towards being healthy. And remember, always to respect our body and to take care of it. Because if you do not take care of your body, you will face issues related to your health. It may start slow, but you may never know how quickly it will escalate to another problem. Absolutely. And always remember to do your routine checkups. That brings us to the end of the session. Remember, la ladies, there is no one out there like us. So make sure you love yourself and celebrate your body. This is Shweta and Selina signing off. Namaste. For more such workout videos, download the Culprit app now. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are Cult.